Alright guys, so like really the only thing left to go over, and I kind of went over it a little bit already. Um, windows, doors, trees, entourage, things like that. Um, relatively simple, you know, like I said, all, all these are, um, everything on this red line is to scale. So, um, I'm just going to do one row of windows for you guys to kind of show you. I'm laying that out. So we're going to do the bottom of the window at 3 feet. We'll do the top of the window at 7 feet. Kind of line up with doors. Maybe we'll throw a door in there too. Um, so let's say our window's here. We'll do, we'll do a door here. These will be the same. Let me grab a different colored pencil so you guys can see that clearly. Um, be the same lines down. Vertical in. Just gonna throw them down here, kind of lighter. You guys might not be able to see this, but I'm just gonna use them as guidelines. Okay, then I'm going to draw a line here at the bottom. Okay, there. We'll draw a window, or our top of our door and windows here. Do the same thing here. Okay, so you guys kind of roughly see that, that grid there. Basically, all I'm going to do now is go in and you know, take my pattern and fill that in. So, I've got this first window here. I'm just going to go the other way so I don't drag across the pen. So, first mark here. Next there. these lines again. Okay. So now you have your windows and doors that are also to scale. So these, there's a little bit more you want to kind of do um, you know, to really make it look detailed. Um, you go in, this pen, you know, let's show a little door here, maybe maybe these windows too, um, kind of show a little inset, you know, something like that. Do 
the same thing with this door. Um, and these you can do a couple of things. So I, I just drew like a little, essentially depth box there. Um, you know, if you, if you have shadows coming in one way or the other, you can kind of come in here and you know fill these in. So it gives that a little more depth. Um, you can also do things like, you know, throw a, throw a doorknob on there. Maybe you have a window light or something like that. Um, you know, you just want to throw, this pen's too thick for that doorknob. But anyways, you, you just always want to kind of have shadow to all of your stuff, right? At least, at least your objects like windows and doors. You can see that, that makes it pop quite a bit more. Um, materials be the same kind of thing, you know, brick, um, siding, anything like that. All of those horizontal lines are going to go to that, that vanishing point. Um, okay, so... I guess kind of the last thing that I'm going to show you guys in terms of requirements here um, is going to be throwing in your, your entourage, your, your people, um, cars, things like that. Um, so the way I like to do this is similar to how we did one point, um, you know, kind of give yourself a box to fill in. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I usually like to use this as at least one line of that. So, you know, if you think about going on this side of the line, which you're probably going to do if you do a sidewalk or something like that, everything on the inside of this is to scale. Outside, if it's entourage, it's not as big of a deal. So, um, let's say I just wanted you know, a sidewalk or something from here, so, or, um, I don't know, what, what, what should I draw here? I guess I'll show, show back here a, a tree, so we'll say, you know, say there's a tree here. You know, you can, you can kind of do a similar take here. Just get a nice like vertical to that. Kind of where it is in the background, at least roughly. So you can see those are kind of the edges to it. Um, So, you know, here if you kind of figure out a tree, like let's, let's say, um, hang on one second. Okay. Um, so what I like to do with this is, you know, you kind of have the edge of your building here. You're a couple feet away from that. Let's, let's actually show... I'm drawing off that. Sorry, I guess. Um, I'm going to switch to this side so you guys can actually see it. So, what I like to do, I'm just going to draw like just a rough box, if you, if you think of it this way, right? So, let's say there's a tree located within that box. Okay. And then, we're going to kind of get those points roughly on here.
like I said, these don't have to be perfect. Um, so let's say this is like a 16 foot tree. So it'll be a little shorter than the building. I'm just gonna draw a quick line. There, and then these can also transfer Obviously this is like super small, just so I can fit it on the page. But anyways, if you have your kind of kind of your box here, what you can end up doing there is like essentially sketch your tree. You know, obviously it's gonna oh. stop, stop on the box. Um something like this, but what you're going to end up doing is shadowing one side like that. Um, I guess I can do it in pen real quick. Might not hold that great because I just filled it in with pencil, but we'll give it a shot. So. doing a very tall narrow tree since uh, I only drew it like two feet wide. So something like that gives you a little bit of a 3D effect. Um, you know, depending on what else you kind of fill in here, um, you know, people, bushes, benches, things like that. You know, it essentially, you know, you, you kind of have the same thing. Um, and you, you use your guidelines. Um, so let me just do like a quick, I always like to sketch in pencil too, just to make sure that it kind of looks right. Sometimes it just gets a little off. Um, So if I was doing a bench here, just throw a quick line in here. We'll say what's in front of that, that window. Six foot wide bench. Okay. 
And we'll just go up three feet, which will be the base of the window. You can see, like I didn't, I didn't really do a whole lot on this one in terms of measuring, but you kind of can just play connect the dots essentially. Okay, so at that point, you know, just you're coming in here, kind of filling this in. So, something along those lines where you're kind of just throwing it, it within that box. You don't need a whole lot in terms of entourage. This one's really focusing on the building, so make sure the main things on your building, like um, windows, doors, materials, all that stuff is correct. Um, specific um, brick CMU siding essentially all your materials are, are you're, you're gonna run lines back to your um, viewpoint um, one trick that actually makes it a little bit easier if you're getting fatigued in terms of throwing lines down is if you put um, foam uh, foam board or something else underneath the entire thing. A little bit of a pain when you have a slide, but if you do something like that, you can put a T pin in that spot, and that way your straight edge, you can just kind of hold it there and move it um, as needed instead of having to do, you know, when it's one one like this, it's not as bad. You know, it's kind of easy to just throw a pen there, a pencil down here and move it. But when you have to do two, it's a little bit trickier. Especially if you're doing, I mean, even even a long ruler or straight edge, gets a little bit tricky. Um, yeah. Um, Trying to think of uh, anything else I didn't cover. Um, hopefully that covers most of the stuff. I mean, just like the one point, throw throwing cubes, you know, kind of filling in that cube. Shadows are really what give you that 3D effect. So obviously this is a super tall narrow tree, but you know, trying to fill in along that backside, kind of like these windows here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll keep that one at that. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to text, email, whatever. Um, let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. Have a good night.